everybody this is Sherry and we're going to make a couple cards using a couple of the cottage cuts dies that I put together last week we're going to start with the cross with vine and in here I'm going to use the Hampton Arts prayer stamp and die set and I'm just going to use the die and I'm getting the word prayers I tap it there and it's it's in there pretty snug so I have to use my Tim Holtz tonic craft pick to get it out and if you hear any noise in the background, I apologize. We're having some tree work done, and my dogs are not liking these people being in the yard at all. And um, so this is like the fourth time I've tried to do this. So I'm going to take them out and take out the second piece because I'm going to layer them together. I like my, my sentiments to feel substantial, and these are really delicate, and my big old oaf of a fingers could not hardly hold on to them. So I struggle a little bit, but I get them put together with some art glitter glue and then I feel like they're not going to fall apart on me. I feel like I have something that I can actually hold on to and not be afraid to handle for fear I'll tear it. So I just take a second here and layer up the, the word prayer and the other die cut. And I apologize. I'm just waiting for my dogs to start barking. I'm a nervous wreck. You're waiting for them to start up again. And uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and layer those together and get them all nice and situated and try to get them as, you know, as close as I can. And I never do anything perfect, so I'll just say as close as I can. And um, but now that I've got it done, I'm going to bring in a sheet of paper that I had laying on my desk. It's a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of paper. And I had embossed it. And I'm not even sure why it was there or what but it worked perfect so I went ahead and used it and I'm just going to attach everything straight down to the card today with this card no dimension at all because it is just easier for me to mail if there's not a lot of bulk on the card and I'm just going to use my art glitter glue again and put down uh, my prayer layer and get it glued on I just kind of bring it over and layer it right next to the cross and it just is just a card to let somebody know that they're in your prayers and that you love them and care about them and so it's nothing fancy but I was really happy with how it turned out Brute sorry guys Brutus is not liking this at all and now here's Lily oh and the bark fest is going to begin <laughs> but I just went and because I glued it straight down, I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to get the glue on without making a mess. So I just put the glue on the solid part and then I tacked down the rest once I got it onto the card and it wasn't going to make a mess smearing everywhere. And so I'm going to cut me a couple layers to put on the card and I'm going to trim this one down first. And I trim it down to ends up being three and three quarters by five. And then I'm going to trim down the purple piece to be four by five and a quarter and there they go I'm just trying to make sure everything's fit and see it just I'm not cutting right I don't know what my problem was today like I said you know measure three times cut 12 you know I don't know what I was doing wrong but so I go ahead and I get it all layered up and I'm just going to get my ATG tape out and get ready to get it put to, put the layers together on the front of the card and go ahead and put my purple layer on and then up oh, see I'm thinking I've slowed it down watch here it's gonna slow down real slow because I get so proud of myself <laughs> look I layered it right the first time watch we're going to go in slow so I can brag on myself a few more seconds <laughs> But I've found that it really, if I can see the three sides, the left, the right, and the bottom, that the top takes care of itself. I don't have to try to look at all four sides to get it layered right. So that has really helped me. And I'll quit bragging now. <laughs> but I'm going to take the ATG and just put the next layer on top of the card. Again, just straight down, no dimension, no fluff, no, you know, no frills, no mess. And there's the card and you could kind of see the um, the spark or the circles in the background it was just a an embossing folder I had and I don't know why I decided to put it on that paper but I had done it so I used it I'm going to use my um, spectrum noir shimmer and just go over the word prayers and make it all nice and glittery 
and I know a bunch of you have, you know, you squeeze the tube a little bit to get a little extra shimmer out. And I've done it a hundred times, but I did it yesterday and a big old blob came out. There was so much, it wouldn't even soak into the paper. And now I'm going to use the Mr. Snuggles Cottage Cuts dye and the Dynamics Hello dye. And that is some paper that I made myself on my computer because I wanted some coffee uh, bean paper and I didn't have any. So I go ahead and just print some out that I found on, I used one of the programs on my computer, quick, short, simple, and had myself my own designer paper. So I cut out the word hello in the brown, and that was just a scrap that I had in my scrap bin. And now I'm just going to trim down the, um, the coffee bean paper. And I, I did not try to even fill the entire page because I knew I didn't need that much paper. And, you know, I didn't want to waste the ink. So I only printed out a little over what I needed, and I will definitely use that for something else. So then I go ahead and I try to layer everything together, and I'm not liking it at all. So I'm going to go ahead and get my square stitch die and my hello die again, and I'm going to die cut those out in pink. And, and then I, I get them out in the pink, and just poke out the few little holes and now I'm going to try it again. I'm going to see, you know, what I like and what I don't like and try to get it the, the right way. Now here in a second, I am going to have an aha moment. It doesn't happen very often, so I'm kind of reveling in this right now. And But I'm trying to layer it up, trying to find the way that I like it. And I can't, just am not happy with what's going on. And then, boom, it comes to me. <laughs> I take the H off of the first hello that was in the brown, and I'm going to layer it on top of the word hello in the pink. And what I do is I put them, I layer them together, and then when I put them on top of that pink square, the H is brown now, and it stands out. And I was just like, ta-da, look at me. <laughs> it really doesn't take much to tickle me. I'm like, woo-hoo, woo-hoo, woo-hoo. <laughs> I guess I'm just in a giggly mood. And I'm using some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals here to uh, put on the back of my bear. Now, I have a bunch of these dimensionals, and as soon as they're gone, I intend to start using nothing but fun foam and the foam tape because it is a lot cheaper. So if you're looking to start adding dimensions to your card, I would definitely recommend those two things for you. It's I think it's a Scotch M tape is the foam tape. It's just perfect. And again, I'm trying it out, making sure I've got everything where I want it. And I apologize that it's off camera. I had my camera set up in a different spot and I just, I guess I wasn't paying attention. I'm so sorry. And here I go. I'm trying my layers and realizing that I just don't need it or just don't like it the way it is, that it needs a little extra color. And so I decide to bring in the pink that I cut the square and the hello out of and I make a first mat and then the coffee bean mat will go on top of that so I'm trimming it down and it will end up being three and three quarters by five and that way I can put the pink mat which is four by five and a quarter on the A2 size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm just going to layer it all up there and again watch boom I did it I'm getting so proud of myself. I'm really enjoying this. I hated layering for the longest time. But this seems to really be some kind of a key or breakthrough for me. I don't know if it's a breakthrough for anybody else. But wow, it works good for me. So here we go. We're just going to layer the cards together. And I'm going to bring the elements back in. And we're going to put this card together. That's it, everybody. I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what you think of the cards we made. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Bye.